All right, what's up everyone? Thank you for stopping by and checking out another video. Uh, today I'm pretty excited to uh, actually be showing you this uh, watch right here in front of you. Uh, this is going to be a Yo-Yo Fit uh, smartwatch. This is a fitness tracker watch. Uh, this is what it looks like straight out of the box. I haven't done really anything to it. Uh, but yeah, so let me tell you why I'm, I guess I'm excited about it. Uh, so this company actually reached out to me and uh, they offered to send me this. Uh, as a sponsored product or a uh, test product, however you want to say it. And uh, in return, they would actually give me a coupon code as well as a, uh, a link for any of my viewers if they decide to purchase this watch. Let's go ahead and jump into what I think, honest opinion, about this watch. So first things first, uh, I'm going to go ahead and move it over. Uh, so this is the box that it comes in. It's fairly small maybe three inches by three inches uh, matte white box but it has everything you need inside of it uh, your watch and uh, the band itself is going to come in a sling like this and inside of a uh, inside of that's going to be the watch it's going to have a screen protector on the front as well as a screen protector on the underside I'll go ahead and show you right here so you can go ahead and peel those off in the beginning as you won't be needing those. Another thing that comes inside of the box is going to be the charger, which is this right here. Uh, you can see the two pins right there. That actually matches up with the two dots on the back. There we go. So the two pins will hit those two little connectors right there and uh, then your device will begin to charge. It is a USB, so you can plug it up into the wall or to a uh, computer. Um, but let me show you how to mount that. So you'll actually, it's, it's pretty janky, but you'll take the clip itself, you'll open it, and you'll put it right over the connectors right there. And if you have it plugged in, then it'll charge just like that. Me personally, I'm neither a fan nor a critic of this method. Uh, I do think there are better ways of uh, charging a device other than this. But at the same time, this isn't the worst way, I guess. Uh, something that does kind of worry me about the setup of charging is this spring right here. Get it to focus. There we go. So I worry about this spring if it was to pop out or if you were to lose it. Uh, how you would be able to charge your device then. Uh, so I guess it's just a uh, what if scenario, what if you lose that spring or anything like that. But uh, I mean as of right now I don't have a problem with it. So let's go ahead and talk about the watch itself. So the watch itself is a circular head. Uh, it does come in a silver color. I chose the uh, matte black band and so I wanted the uh, the black watch as well. Uh, the the band that it comes with is long enough to fit around my wrist no problem. So I would imagine if you have a big wrist it's still going to be uh, pretty comfortable for you. Um, if you are familiar with smartwatches, typically they have multiple buttons. This one right here actually has just one home button which is on the side right there. And then it has your select button which you can kind of see right here. Uh, this bottom portion is the only part of the screen that's actually touch screen. Uh, the rest of it is basically just uh, space for, it's display space, uh, basically. So, if we go ahead and open the watch, you'll tap the home button and then you'll hit the select button right there. So, the home screen is going to be, of course, your clock. Uh, after your clock, you'll have your activity tracker, which is this one right here. Uh, after that, you'll have your heartbeat or your heart rate monitoring. Uh, after that, you'll have your uh, your training. There we go. Your training right here. Uh, this is going to be stopwatch, such like that. Uh, you'll have your weather, messages, blood oxygen, shutter. Ooh, blood oxygen is this one right here. Uh, shutter, which is going to be uh, if you're connected to your phone, then you'll be able to uh, basically activate your camera through that and then a player right here which is a, another way of saying music player uh, and then you'll have your other settings right there which are display levels uh, 
power reset such like that uh, so that's a quick run through of the menus of this uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on that way you can kind of see what it looks like on my wrist all right everyone so here's what it looks like on my wrist itself uh, you can see in the lighting right here how you have the uh, screen and uh, that is just going to be display space uh, you can also see there's a little circle right there and that'll be your uh, select button that I was talking about so you can uh, cycle through your menus fairly quickly uh, if by any chance you run across a menu that says long press right there if you just long press that select button you'll be able to access that uh, menu right there uh, if you want to continue to move on you can just move on by tapping the select button so home button will take you back to the watch face right here and uh, yeah then you'll be ready to go uh, me personally I have uh, the app set up excuse me so I have the app set up right here let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit and uh, this is going to be the every fit app and uh, here is what the screen looks like right here once you have it all set up you can actually go into watch faces and I just have a random picture of myself uh, set as number one but if you decided you wanted to switch it you could actually go uh, right here it says select picture and you can choose your own picture out of your camera roll if you want to restore it to the default this is the default and uh, you can kind of uh, I guess customize this right here uh, you can select where the watch appears what uh, what's above the watch and such like that let me go ahead and show you And that's kind of like a quick rundown of that right there. But I don't really worry about that. I simply only use this one as of right now. Uh, and yeah. So you can also set up your notifications through here. This is going to be what you get notified uh, on your watch with. You can set up your alarms. You can set up uh, the shutter like I told you. Uh, you can hit the shutter button on your uh, watch and it'll actually take the picture on your camera so that's pretty cool uh, you can go into others and this is just uh, different other settings for your watch itself uh, nothing too fancy but it gives you all the settings that you need uh, and then of course you have if you have an upgrade then you can uh, upgrade your watch through this right here so yeah that's uh, the every fit fit app uh, works fairly well haven't had any issues as of yet uh, and yeah so this is going to be my quick review guys of the every fit app and uh, the yo-yo fit fitness tracker smartwatch again I'm hopefully going to leave a coupon code or a discount code down in the description down below and uh, hopefully you'll be able to go to the link that I have listed and uh, if you're interested, you can pick you up one of these. Uh, there's three different options, if I'm not mistaken, and then they have a couple of uh, different colors uh, for the bands. So you'll be able to uh, choose and customize it however you want. But yeah, guys, so thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please smash that like button if you did. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel as I post videos just like this once a week. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next one. Later.